Welcome traders. It's Eddie here from TradeView and in this video I'm going to show you how you can build an automated trading system in under five minutes without any programming knowledge. This presentation is provided for information purposes only. We're just going to give you an idea of what's possible using EA Lab, which is one of the tools we've developed. You should not regard it as financial product advice. So what we'll be doing today is we'll be building a bracketing system. So for those of you who don't know what bracketing is, let me explain. Bracketing is when we try to find a period of consolidation and we uh, look to take a break in the direction that it occurs. So if we get a break to the upside, then we'll go long. If we get a break to the downside, we'll go short. Of course, we need to define the conditions to do that. Let me show you a hand drawing, courtesy of one of the traders here, Todd. Thanks very much. Uh, what we're looking to do is this here. So we're looking for a period of consolidation, and we're going to define a level at the top of the consolidation and the bottom. And if we get a break to the upside, then we're going to the buy, and a break to the downside, we're going to sell the market. What we don't want to do is we don't want to set a bracket over a period that's not a period of consolidation. Uh, so something like this. So what we'll need to do in order to do that is we'll have to define it very clearly. So let's look at that in a minute. Some of the things that we're going to show you in this video is a simple breakout strategy. So you'll get to see the rules of the strategy itself. We'll show you how you can build the system in EA Lab, which is a tool that we've developed here at TradeView to allow traders to build their model without any programming knowledge. So the reason we've done that is because we use it internally. Not all the traders here can program. Some of them can. I can't. Rob the head trader can't, for example. But all of us can build the trading ideas that we have using EA Lab. I'm going to do this build in under five minutes, so it'll be a little bit of a race against time just to show you guys how quickly it can be done once you've learned how to do it correctly. You'll be able to see basically how quickly you can automate a strategy. So from our perspective, if you're trading something and you haven't automated it and tested it, then you're not going to be able to have any idea whether the strategy could actually be a profitable strategy. So again, from our perspective, you need to be able to automate it because it's quick and it's easy to do once you know how, and then you're going to be able to tell whether the strategy you're trading has the potential to make money. That's absolutely critical. We'll show you how to do a back test in MT4 as well, so you can see the results of this model. And to give you guys a little bit of an idea, we could get pretty much any trader to this level in about two days. So if you think it looks really quick and you might not be able to do it, well, you might not be able to do it now, but we've been able to teach many people to get to this level in about two days. All right, so let's have a look at the rules of the strategy. So our rules are, if a bar closes above or below the bracket, then we're going to buy or sell depending on which side it breaks. So again, a break to the upside is a buy, and a break to the downside is a sell. We're going to set the bracket to the highest high and the lowest low of the last 10 bars. That's our definition. And the bracket upper and lower levels must be within a small range. So we're going to define that range by a number of ATR. So an ATR is a standard MT4 indicator, it's the average true range, and it's a good dynamic way to measure uh, a range. So we're looking for a small range, as in the picture before. Our stop loss is going to be set to the upper or lower level, depending on which side it breaks. So a break to the upside will set our stop loss to the lower level, a break to the downside will set our stop loss to the upper level. And our take profit for this model is going to be a fixed amount of points to keep it simple. Let's have a look at what it looks like. So this is the euro dollar. This is a daily chart. You can see here we have a period of consolidation. And what we've done is we've set our upper level to the highest high of the last 10 bars. So it doesn't have to be 10 bars. You can play around with what that is, but that's what we've done for this model. And you can see this here is the highest high of the last 10 bars, and this is the lowest low of the last 10 bars. And then when you get a 
big bar break and close above the upper level, this is our signal to buy. So we're going to buy when this bar closes above the upper level. We're going to set our stop loss to the lower level and then for this model we've got a fixed point profit target but there are many other things you could do so you could trail up for example. So let's build it we'll see how I go trying to do this in under five minutes. First thing we need to do is we need to open EA Lab which is located in our member portal so here it is. Uh, EA Lab is browser based so you can use it on any computer uh, you can reference things like the MT4 indicators, so all the standard MT4 indicators that can be referenced are available in EA Lab. It's in this section here. You can also go here and you can see you can pull in custom indicators as well. So you can reference the indicators that you build or you find on the internet as long as they're built correctly. Uh, apart from indicators, you can build uh, many different mathematical functions. So, so far, there's been nothing that I've tried to build in EA Lab that I haven't been able to build, so it's very powerful. All right, let's attempt to build this breakout model we discussed in under five minutes. So it's going to be a little bit of a challenge. What I'll do is I'll try and explain what I'm doing as I go along, uh, but bear with me. It'll be a little bit of a push for time. Let's see how we go. So if you'd like to start timing, let's start timing from now. So first thing I need to do is name the EA, I'll call it bracketing. Alright, and then what I'm going to do is I'm going to set those upper and lower levels, or I'm going to define them. So I'm going to have an upper level, these are the levels of the bracket, and I'll make another one called lower levels. Alright, now what I need to do is I need to set where these levels are going to be set. So remember we're going to set the upper level to the highest high of the last 10 bars. So I won't go through uh, you know, all the specifics here, but uh, I'll try and explain what the functions do. So the highest high of 10 bars. Okay, now a great feature about Air Lab is you can duplicate things so you can do them quickly. So we're going to select the lower level here and set that to the bar low of the lowest low of the last 10 bars. Now that we've set those levels, what we're going to do is we'll build the buy side first. So we want to just check that there's no trades already open. We're only going to take one at a time for this model. So what we can do is we can count the number of orders that are currently open, count the number of long orders, and if it's zero then we can enter a trade. So only one at a time. Then what we need to do is we need to define the range, which is going to be the upper level minus the lower level. So we need a couple of these. All right. So it's going to be the upper level minus the lower level. Uh, and then that needs to be, I'll grab this one, it needs to be less than uh, a certain range. So we're going to define that range by a number of ATRs. So we need our ATR block. And we'll put this in, we'll make it a 10 period ATR. And what we're going to do is we're going to create a variable for that uh, range. We're going to call it ATR factor. So it's going to be around about 2, which we'll set for default. Uh, okay but we may want to change it later. So you can set external variables that you can change later in MT4. Uh, right. Okay, so now we have that. I always try and check the logic as they go through. So we define the range there and it's less than uh, an ATR times the ATR factor. Okay, I think that's good. Now we'll do the entry. So we need to say that if the bar close, is greater than the upper level, this is a buy trade, then what we'll do is we'll buy. I think I'm running out of time here. <laughs> Alright, I'm going to just try and whip through, and we're going to set our stop loss to the lower level, and our take profit, what we'll do is we'll set that up as a variable. So we can play around with that later. What we'll do is just as a default, we'll set it to 50. All right. 
Okay. Now we can just go ahead and duplicate all this for the short side. Uh, we don't need that one because we're going to make it a cell. So we need to change this. So if the amount of short orders, loss, that's going to be the same. Uh, we want the bar close to be less than the lower level because it's a short trade. Uh, we can take this out. We don't need the buy block. We need a sell. Uh, oh, here we can go 0 0.1. Our stop loss is going to be the upper level. And our take profit is going to be the same. Okay, so that's finished. Let's quickly check through if we've got enough time. So if there's no long orders open and the range is less than uh, a certain amount of ATR, if the bar closed by the upper level, we're buying. We're setting the stop loss to the lower level. We've got a take profit. On the short side, if there's no short orders open and the range is less than what we've de uh, defined, if the bar closes below the lower level, then we're going to sell. I'm going to say this is okay. Let's download it and have a look. All right, here we go. I reckon that's right on five minutes. We'll open that up. Alright, so this is going to open in our meta editor. Here, we'll compile it and then we can run it. So we'll open up our MT4. Alright, uh, there it is, bracketing. Okay, what we'll do is first we'll run it through on bar and we'll just see if we get some results. Actually, I did change these properties a little bit. Put in the settings I had before. Okay, this should be good. And fingers crossed, we've got some results. Fantastic. And just at the first look, that's starting to look okay. So this is literally a basic system, and it's the first run through. So, whew, I'm glad that worked. All right, uh, we can have a look at the report here. So there's made about 37% uh, on our $10,000 account. With nearly 8% drawdown, which is actually a bit higher than we'd like, but for a first run, we can see that things are heading in the right direction. Uh, we took around about a thousand trades, so it's a fairly decent sample for this model. Uh, we ran this on the dollar yen hourly, and we started it from 2012, so it's about five and a half years worth of data. So a reason, a reasonable sample. Uh, people always ask, can we test on open prices only? If you understand how MT4 in the back testing works, as well as how the system is built, then you'll understand that you can. But if you want me to run it on every tick, why don't I do that and let it run through, just so you guys can see. I'll let that run, and I'll talk at the same time. So basically, what you can see is it's not too difficult to build a model in, hopefully that was under five minutes, it'll come pretty close. Um, this is just a, a basic style model and of course there's other elements that we add to the models here. But if you've never had any experience building an automated system before, then I'd be pretty confident that we can get you to build something like this in around about two days. So this is the type of model that we might build although of course we'll add some other parameters some other money management and things like that uh, but we can show you guys that as you develop as well we'll see how the back test is going okay this back test is finished now and you can see it's been run on every tick so there it is every tick uh, again if you understand how the back testing engine works it's probably not going to make much difference because of the way that the strategy was built but same time period, same everything else. We'll have a look at the graph first, and you can see that the equity curve still looks pretty much exactly the same. We'll go to the report, see the exact figures. So it actually increased the profit slightly, uh, maybe by half or 1%, and it also increased the drawdown slightly by, I think, before it was 7.96 or something. So 0.03%, which is pretty negligible. So you can see very, very similar results there. Okay, uh, basically, thanks for watching. There you have it. You've now been able to see how you can build a model in under five minutes. And look, if you guys are interested in doing something like this and building models of your own, of course, we'll be able to help you build uh, more models uh, with your own strategies or strategies that you find. Uh, we give people unlimited support as well to do it. So if you'd like to chat further and use EA Lab and work with us, please get in touch. So until next time, 
I hope you enjoyed the video and all the best with your trading.